When I cried to the Lord, he heard my voice. He rescued me from those who attacked me. Entrust your case to the Lord, and he will support you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of all creation, who are pleased to give the Bishop St. Polycarp a place in the company of the martyrs, grant through his intercession that sharing with him in the chalice of Christ, we may raise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, See, today I set before you life and prosperity, death and disaster. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I enjoin on you today, if you love the Lord your God and follow his ways, if you keep his commandments, his laws, his customs, you will live and increase and the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you are entering to make your own. But if your heart strays, if you refuse to listen, if you let yourself be drawn into worshipping other gods and serving them, I tell you today, you will most certainly perish. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today. I set before you life or death, blessing or curse. Choose life then, so that you and your descendants may live in the love of the Lord your God, obeying his voice, clinging to him. For in this your life consists, and on this depends your long stay in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he would give them. The word of the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord, not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. 
for the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. A pure heart create for me, O God, and give me again the joy of your help. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. Then to all he said, if anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. What gain then is it for a man to have won the whole world and to have lost and or ruined his very self? The Gospel of the Law. <coughs> My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, no disciple is greater than his master. Let Lent make us desire imitation of Christ above all, seeking the giver and not the gifts. The steps in the ladder of discipleship are clear but challenging as they draw us out of ourselves and into the very heart of Jesus. These steps are those of self-denial, taking up the cross and following the Master. Each of these rungs of the ladder takes us lower in our pride and higher in our true glory. This Lent we may continue to decrease, that in us he may increase. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit. 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Polycarp overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer, intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters and so with all the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest. <coughs> Mass is offered the soul of Albert Edkill. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, 
Peter Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and with St. Polycarp and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. If you may merit to be co-host in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, it would be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. Yes, we wait the blessed hope on the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your puzzles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes over the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray. Give us that determination which made your blessed martyr, St. Polycarp, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is celebrated. Go in peace.